So, in as much as I dish out information to you guys, it is also wise that you go and make extra efforts, like making sure you you do you you, you do thorough research, search out the city you are moving into, whether the city will be a, a city where you can actually afford or not. Well, before I go into today's video. Um, if you're just coming across my channel for the first time, I'm Doris or simply call me Biobi. I talk about studies, I talk about migration and also help students in getting settled. And if this is the kind of content that you've been searching for, then search no more because you are in the right community here. Yeah. I don't sugarcoat my videos, I tell you as it is. So if you have not subscribed, please kindly subscribe. And if you have not liked and um, you are getting values, please kindly do that. This is just the only way you can support me. Thank you so much. Um, I've actually received several mails from students, you know, prospective students, asking me, telling me, hey, Biobi, you just posted a school and, and I want to apply. The first thing I need to ask them, yes, for those who come for consultation, I'll first of all ask you, can you actually afford the tuition fee? These are questions that you should ask. Other question that you should likely ask is the city. I made a video where I talked about accommodation. I'm going to drop the link somewhere here, so kindly look at, check out for this. This um, link will actually tell you the city where you are going to stay, like the accommodation, how much the real rent. Yes, when you check Idealista, I made a video on that already. I don't want to talk more on that. But when you check this Idealista, you know how much you are expected that, how much the rent, how much you're going to pay for a one month rent. So you should know, can I actually afford it? Okay. Yes, once you get your residency permit, your TRC, you can work in Portugal as a student here. Okay, and I've also made mention that the um, the the minimum wage is seven hundred and sixty-five as at now, but by January because they increase it every year, so by January it will definitely increase. I think either to eight hundred and five euros. Okay, so when you look at it. Look at your tuition. Take for example, you're going to pay like 5,000 euros per year. Okay, let's say they are going to divide it into 10 places. Then you're going to pay like 500 each month. Okay, when you subtract 500 from your, from your, um, from your minimum wage, then you remove your accommodation fee. Let's say the least probably you're going to get maybe 300 euros. Subtract it. Are you? Uh, you can see the analysis. Yes, I'm, you've not added the allowance for feeding. But then have it in you that the minimum wage as a student, especially as a master's student, you can't complete the normal days because you're going to have lectures and your recruiter would actually remove, subtract how many hours. If you miss two hours, they will subtract it from that minimum wage. So all these are what you should consider. So even if as much as I post out a school, I think the first thing I would always advise students is check out your course, check out the tuition and also the accommodation, the rent. The rent is actually a post that aside from tuition fee. The rent is what you should look at. Can I pay? Or am I going to do, am I going to get all this money from the country I'm coming from? For example, if I'm a student, I'm a Nigerian, am I going to get my source, my ink, my money from Nigeria? If you're coming, that you're coming to work and study at the same time, all this should be put into consideration. Yes, a lot of students are actually stranded like, because they never planned. Your community, for example, you're studying in Lisbon. Lisbon is the capital city of Portugal. And you should expect that the rent would be expensive. It's just like someone 
you are a student coming from Nigeria. Yes, I don't know. I like to see Nigeria as an example. You're coming from Nigeria and you know Lagos staying in Lagos. Lagos is an expensive area compared to someone who is maybe coming from Kaduna. So you see the description. Fancy. So all these are what you should actually look at and God know if you can apply to that school. Okay, each city has a university in Portugal and all these are what you as an international student should look at. Can I afford the tuition fee? Can I pay the rent? Okay, all these are what you should look out for. So guys, as an international student, you know, you're migrating to a, a new place whereby you, you might be the only um, Nigerian or you might be the only Ghanaian or you might be the only Ugandan there. So these are what you should actually consider. Know that you are, you, you are coming to a place whereby you might not meet your family member there. So prepare yourself. Making, your, making out your own research, searching out, doing your own analysis would actually help. So that when you come down here, you are not frustrated. You are not like giving up. Yes, at a point do I look like, hey, I'm going to give up. But at this point, I'm encouraging every prospective student, don't give up. At the initial time, it might actually not be rosy okay but by the time you're getting settled by the time you're getting to meet people from your country then you see that you can now balance life together and you see the place being habitable for you okay so make your own research search out it's really really important yes a lot of people will come and say hey why will be i don't know how to go about it all these are what the video is, is all about i make video i make it simple i even share my screen in such a way that you can all do it by yourself but some of us don't actually want to make any effort and if you don't make effort that is how you find when you come down you find yourself being 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 stranded or being not even knowing what to do but by the time you have made your research you find out that Portugal is a place to be. I hope this video helps one or two persons. Yes, I know it's gonna help because it will help you prepare. It will help you, you know, make up your mind on which area you need to stay. Okay, so if you're not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Please kindly click on the subscribe button. Turn on your post notification so that you would always be notified whenever I put up any video.